This morning, a warning from Elon Musk and other tech industry experts about the power of artificial intelligence. He is among signatories to an open letter calling for a six-month pause in developing systems stronger than OpenAI's GPT-4. Musk and hundreds of influential names, including Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, are calling for a pause in experiments, saying AI poses a dramatic risk to society unless there's proper oversight. A dramatic risk to society unless there's proper oversight. If you're looking for an authority in computing trends, Bill Gates ticks all the boxes. He brought the personal computer to the masses and recognized the revolutionary aspect of the internet long before most people. On the 21st of March, 2023, Bill Gates wrote a blog post describing the only two times he has ever seen a technology that struck him as revolutionary. The first was a demonstration of the graphical user interface in 1980. The second was in September of 2022. A few months earlier, Gates met with a team from OpenAI and gave them a challenge to train an artificial intelligence to pass an advanced placement biology exam. He wanted them to make it capable of answering questions that it wasn't being specifically trained for. This, in his mind, would represent a real breakthrough in artificial intelligence. A couple of months later, in September of 2022, Bill Gates watched in awe as the GBT model got 59 out of 60 multiple choice questions correct, then wrote outstanding answers to six open-ended questions from the exam. An outside expert gave it the highest possible score, an A, or A+. There and then, according to Gates, he knew he had just witnessed the most important advancement in technology since the graphical user interface. Even when every computer practitioner was jumping on the cryptocurrency, NFT, and metaverse bandwagon, Bill Gates did not have such monumental thoughts about them. But why AI? Why does he think that our lives, as we know them, are about to change forever? Remember that clip of Bill Gates explaining the internet to David Letterman in 1995? And what about this internet thing? Do you, do you know anything about that? Sure. <laughs> what, what the hell is that exactly? Ago, there was like a big breakthrough announcement that <laughs> on the internet or on some computer deal, they were going to broadcast a, a baseball game. You could listen to a baseball game on your computer. And I just thought to myself, does radio ring a bell? <laughs> Right now, 99% of the Earth's population is David Letterman. This is both exciting and a bit scary. Exciting because we can't start to fathom what we can do with AI, or what AI will do by itself in 10 years from now. Scary because the labor market will change in ways not seen since the Industrial Revolution. And this time, it may actually be catastrophic. First time. <laughs> No one can give you timelines with certainty, but the consensus is that in the medium term, at least 80% of the US workforce will be affected. Not to be confused with replaced. We'll still have jobs, but AI will take some aspects of these jobs gradually, before eventually taking over everything. Blue-collar jobs will be last to be replaced, but as soon as equipment manufacturers start integrating AI, party is over. In short, this time is different, and many people don't know what's about to hit them. One field that I'm following closely is the entertainment industry, particularly Hollywood. If you had asked me to describe this scenario even a year ago, I don't think I could have thought it possible. Now, well, now I'm not so sure. Picture this, you're in your couch watching TV after a long day's work. As we often find ourselves, there's nothing that interests you on Netflix or any streaming platform. But there's this new service that has just launched, called Yourflix. It doesn't have a back catalogue, it doesn't have Friends or The Office or movies from the 60s. All it has is a prompt bar, just like you find on Google.com. Oh my god, okay, it's happening! In as few or as many words as you wish, you type a general description of what you want to watch. A movie about a violent alien race invading Earth. Or how about a tragic romantic comedy set in Chicago. Or maybe a story of robots taking over the world. Anything your heart desires. And wait, you also want to star in this movie. You upload a picture of yourself. The streaming service fires up its engines. And a few seconds later, a 90-minute movie starts to play. With your photorealistic avatar lighting up the room. There is no distinction between what you are watching 
and what is normally produced for tens of millions of dollars in Hollywood. Michael Bay explosions, Christopher Nolan cinematography, the looking up POV shots of Quentin Tarantino, whatever style you can think of, you can get it. As icing on the cake, you own the rights to that movie. All this for about $20 a month. And there is no limitation on how many movies you can generate. You can share them with the world, or keep them as your own private collection. Realistically, is this future possible? And if so, how far away is it? The correct answer is that such a feature is completely possible, but nobody knows when it may happen. In truth, it might happen a lot sooner than almost anyone can imagine, and no one is ready for it. The underlying technologies to make this reality possible, at least in theory, exist and are being improved lightning fast. Look around and you'll see pieces coming together one by one. Everything needed to put together a complete AI-generated movie from scratch is being built right now. Many of these AI technologies are incredibly good. And I know this is cliché by now, but I'll say it anyway. All this AI technology is at the worst it will ever be. Let's break down what you need to make a movie. The first thing is a script. Writing original content was one of the first capabilities demonstrated by AI. ChatGPT catapulted the technology to international acclaim in early of 2023. But thousands of people were already using the GPT large language model for years to create web content, ebooks, creative stories, and much more. The latest iteration of ChatGPT version 4 was a big upgrade from ChatGPT 3.5. On top of improving factual correctness and reasoning errors by 40%, it also introduced visual inputs. The point is, if these are the early days of AI text generation, buckle up for the ride. I still think human creativity will trump AI long into the future, but I am open to being proven wrong. I certainly did not see this crazy speed of progress coming. Do we expect the current iteration of AI to write an Oscar-winning script? Maybe not but it can write a script, which is more than we can say for most humans. To make a movie, you also need a cast. The actors. But do you really? AI-generated visuals are crazy good right now, and they're only getting better. Video will obviously be one of the final frontiers to conquer, and early examples clearly need some work. But let's take a look at what's happening with AI-generated images. After all, a video is just a bunch of pictures displayed in quick succession. They're called frames, and most movies tend to have 24 of them per second, or simply 24 FPS. If AI can conquer the individual image, the individual frame, you can bet it will not be long before AI videos themselves become indistinguishable from reality. Some of the most advanced text-to-image models are generating images that are indistinguishable from reality this very minute. Of course, we all saw those viral dope pope images. As realistic as they look, this is all AI, more specifically, a program called Mid-Journey. It's scary when you think about it. How are we going to tell what is real from what is not, especially in this post-truth world we've built for ourselves? NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang is recently quoted as saying, every single pixel will be generated soon, not rendered. Take a moment to internalize what that means, and more specifically, what that means for Hollywood. There are expensive cameras, there are huge teams of VFX artists, perhaps even the actors themselves, are replaced by a computer servers on a rack. NVIDIA has been investing greatly in chips that will power this uncertain new world. They are ready. But are we? I believe there is a general ignorance and underestimation of how unprepared we are for what's coming. These are two super convincing AI-generated movie posters of Tom Cruise in the next Mission Impossible. This is Keanu Reeves in a Western movie. And here's Dwayne The Rock Johnson as the President of the United States. All these incredible advancements, and believe it or not, AI has barely left preschool. The most immediate revolution in Hollywood involving these hyper-realistic generations will be things like actor de-aging, which currently involve a lot of work. But a time is coming when a movie will consist of 100% AI characters. Of course, they won't go taking the likeness of famous actors. That's why AI, in its current form today, 
can create entirely new and completely unique avatars. I wouldn't want to be an actor looking for a job 10 years from now. You also need voices in a movie. And you might be surprised to learn, they're not spared either. Let me explain briefly in the voices of some famous celebrities. Using a fast-growing list of AI text-to-speech synthesizers, you can do one of two things. Clone voices or generate brand new voices. Some tools allow you to clone your own voice or any voice you wish with frightening accuracy. Like this one of myself. In some cases, all you need is to upload less than two minutes of the sample voice. You might have seen that Joe Rogan AI voice clip that was used to promote and sell some adult products that he had neither endorsed nor heard about. Testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. Well, look, that Alphagram product is all over TikTok. If you go to Amazon and you type in for men, you're going to find it right at the top. And that's because guys are figuring out that it literally is increasing size and making a difference down there. This is getting into the not very funny territory. In short, the technology is here right now and Hollywood better be afraid. Everything that makes an actor what he or she is on screen is threatened to be replaced by AI. Back to my voice. You have the video and the voices. What else do you need to make a movie? Well, let's see. Film score, soundtrack, sound effects. And would you guess, there are AI tools right now making convincing music and soundtracks. Google has an experimental AI platform, dubbed Nsynth, that helps creators make new sounds. A platform like Soundify actually recognizes objects in a video and assigns appropriate sounds. Just imagine how good all these technologies will be in the near future. When ChatGPT version 4 was released, Microsoft's AI scientists wrote a research paper stating that the open language model was showing sparks of artificial general intelligence. Basically, an artificial general intelligence is a hypothesized AI system that solves problems just as a human would, including finding solutions when faced with an unfamiliar task. Just a few months ago, an AGI was thought to be decades away, and now it may already be here. Right now, AI still heavily relies on instructions given to it by humans on how to train and improve itself. But the day is coming when AI will self-improve and self-upgrade indefinitely. And we're not ready. It could be soon. In my opinion, the only thing that can stop this tectonic shift in Hollywood and entertainment is a slowdown in the advancement of computing power. As you can imagine, it will take incredible amounts of computing capabilities to launch a movie GPT, especially at any reasonable scale. Text-based queries are constantly bogging down the ChatGPT system, even with Microsoft's full backing. So you can only imagine what graphical responses would do. In reality, we might need quantum computing for any chance of such instantaneous tailor-made content at scale. But we've already achieved fusion energy, and the decade is not even halfway done. So never say never, I guess. This is how I see it going down in Hollywood. AI will be adopted widely and quickly, especially in visual effects and other post-production work. Many jobs will be lost instantly. The cost of making movies, particularly the post-production part, will come down drastically. Movies will also need to be made and released pretty fast. Remember, post-production often goes on for months or sometimes even years. I mean, if an AI can do 80% of your sound editing and mixing, visual effects, color correction, graphics, and much more, that's a lot of hours saved and jobs lost. Finally, when AI technology matures and computer processing power catches up, the scenario I described will be the norm. You will be the star of your own movie, your avatar, your voice, and at the end of the night, you own the rights to that movie. The beauty of this is that an AI or an AGI will be at the forefront designing the chips and computer hardware technology that will usher in this reality. It's a positive feedback loop. Keep an eye on the progress.